Hey, welcome to this Windows 8 channel and today we're going to have the top PC security tips. What you should do to keep everything safe on your computer. Um, you know, I see a lot of people on this channel that send me messages and say this or that that I've, um, you know, told them to do. When they try it, there's pop-ups and so on and I send them to the wrong sites and, you know, that is not the case. The problem is a lot of you don't even know you're infected with viruses. And then you say that, you know, um, this site or this site is no good because it's full of um, malware. And it's not. It's the viruses and the malwares that's on your computer that add these pages. Uh, one of the very popular ones that I see very often when you're infected is everywhere on web pages it says, hey, update your uh, flash player here, click here. Uh, well, it doesn't do that. It doesn't show like that when you don't have flash. You don't have to update it unless it's very old, so you don't click on links like that. The first thing that I need to say is make sure your computer is up to date. You know, Windows updates are not there just for the fun of it. They actually do a lot. These updates are usually on the second Tuesday of every month. This is what we call Patch Tuesday. But there are some important updates that will sometimes be out of cycle. So it does happen from time to time that out of the blue, an update will want to install. Usually what happens in these updates is simply that they fix some important flaws inside your Windows machine. So that's the first rule. Make sure that Windows is up to date. I uh, hear in 2015, I still hear people saying, oh, they told me not to update by Windows because they bring viruses. Please, that is really not the case. It's completely idiot not to do that. You have to patch your system and it's very important. Don't listen to people that say, hey, don't update. It brings in viruses. You'll have viruses because you don't update, not because you update. That's for sure. So when your computer says some updates are ready, apply them. When you Usually, your computer will do that by itself. Make sure the software you use is up to date. Flash Player, Adobe Reader. These are all software that sometimes need to be updated. If you're not sure, go to the website. Adobe Reader and Flash Player come from adobe.com. Make sure that you go to that website, adobe.com. Go by yourself. Don't click any windows that will tell you, oh, you got to uh, update your Adobe Reader or update your Flash Player. Don't click links. Go manually to adobe.com. And at the bottom of that page, there are downloads. This is where you'll get Adobe Reader, Adobe Flash Player. So that is important. This is the only place where you should download this. And even then, you know what? Be careful. Adobe Reader and Adobe Flash Player have this really annoying um, thing about, you know, adding a little something. Oh, uh, well, you, we'll install Google Chrome with it or we'll install uh, McAfee uh, protection of some sort or just be careful to remove the check marks. You know, I hate companies that do that. I understand they get money for that, but I really hate companies that do that. And Adobe, of all, should not do that. Next, Java. If you have Java on your computer, my biggest recommendation is remove it from your machine. It is one of the worst products for viruses. And I would say that probably 80% of you people out there don't even use it. So how do you remove it? Go into your uh, right click in the start button on the bottom left and go into your programs and features. There, look for Java. If you see it installed on your computer, uninstall it. Make sure that you remove it. There might be multiple versions. Java has this annoying habit 
of having three, four, five different versions all installed at the same time. Very annoying. Remove everything you see that's a Java. Now, one word of caution about that, if you are in probably the 20% of people that use it, how will you know if you um, need it? Well, you'll know when you actually need it. So um, most people that need Java usually go to web pages that uh, have games. A lot of uh, web pages with games have Java enabled games. So if you miss it because of that, then okay, uh, you can reinstall it by going to java.com, reinstall the, last, the latest version, make sure you do all the updates every time Java is an update if you really, really need it. But you know what? Best recommendation, remove this from your computer. Java is really, really one of those pieces of software that is often a problem for viruses. And I'd say in the past year, uh, three out of four clients that I actually removed viruses on their machines had JavaScript enabled viruses or malware, which means that without Java, they wouldn't have been infected in the first place. Second thing, use a antivirus software. Now, if you're in Windows 8, you've got a free thing called Defender. Make sure that you look to make sure that it's working. So um, you can, you know, go in the charms bar in the search. You can go into your start screen and the search type Defender. Look at this Windows Defender. Is it green? Is it up to date? Is it running? If it is, then no problem. You are okay. This is an okay protection. Not the best in the world because a paid antivirus is better than a free one. But for a lot of people, this is enough. And so make sure that it is working. Or else make sure you've got something else. Like, for example, ESET which is probably one of the best antiviruses out there. Not 32 antivirus is one of the great, great antiviruses out there. Probably one of the best. But whatever you're using, not 32, uh, Norton, McAfee, or, you know, McAfee I don't like, but, you know, that's also personal. Some people like it, then use it if you like it. The important thing is you need an antivirus and you need it to have installed. So either you have a paid one, or like I said, you go and look for Defender, Windows Defender on your machine. Make sure it's working. If it is, that is great. And you know what? You don't maybe don't need a paid antivirus. Uh, that is very important. On firewalls, um, look, Windows has a firewall, first of all. That is quite good. Windows 8 has a very good firewall, actually. And if you're using a router because you have more than one devices at home, you also have a firewall on the router. I often get questions about, oh, firewalls, do I need a firewall? Uh, my firewall, is it Windows firewall good? Somebody told me I should install a firewall. Uh, Windows firewall is good. And like I said, if you're using a router, you have one of the best firewalls out there that are on the routers themselves. So you know what? Use that firewall and that's it. It's enough. Uh, the other thing that you might want is also a piece of software like Malwarebytes. Malwarebytes free version is not a um, you know real time protection. It's something you'll scan manually. But you know what? Even with the best antiviruses, I've noticed that Malwarebytes is actually good to have anyway because it does protect you. Uh, against some specific types of malware and adware. So this is a good piece of software to get. Be careful. If you're infected with something, I've noticed that Malwarebytes page is often spoofed by another page. So when you click the free version download, you are actually sent to something else. This is what it should look like. You're almost there. You should have this and you should click download for the free version. Don't click upgrade. Click download to get the free version, install it, and uh, you know make sure it looks like this because if it doesn't or if it says, oh, uh, you're, we're downloading PC Tech Call or PC Pro or you know whatever other thing that's not Malwarebytes, that means you're infected and you need to actually get your computer um, checked for viruses and malware. 
The other thing is, uh, you know, be careful what you search online. Searching on the web is dangerous for a lot of reasons. Google does a good job at trying to, you know, put away all those bad websites, but it can't do 100% all the time. Like an antivirus is never 100% sure. So make sure that when you search for something, you're very careful. One of the most common ways that I've seen people infected with malware recently is by searching for software. For example, they search for, let's say, um, <clears throat> iTunes because they have a Apple device. And because they search for iTunes, they sometimes, now this is good because it tells me here, okay, apple.com, apple.com, that's nice. It's a real website for iTunes. But I've seen many, many spots where iTunes will come from another spot. For example, let's go down. Maybe we'll see something that I can show you. But you know what? Right now, it's not too bad. It depends on your uh, config also because some machines will give you other types. For example, here we get download iTunes. And look at this. It says download ease.net slash iTunes. Look at this. This is not a good link. So when you search for something, make sure add is not written. The first one here was good, but here, you know, every time it says ads, it's always a problem. So make sure that when you download a piece of software, that you know what company actually makes it. You know, if you're looking for iTunes, you know it's for your Apple products. Why not go directly to apple.com? And there you'll see that at the top, iTunes is part of that web page. Um, you know, if you're looking for Adobe Flash Player, once again, a lot of people go on Google and say, oh, I need Flash Player. And they click here, and uh, you know what? Look at this first link here. Flash Player down, down new load. It's, it's not even, uh, you know, written correctly here. This is not a good place to get this. Adobe dash flash dash player slash download. This is really probably malware. What you want is to know who makes Flash Player. It's Adobe. Look at the second link. Get a dot Adobe dot com. This is the link to Flash Player. That's not the link to Flash Player. And you gotta be careful with those things. Unfortunately. I know it's not easy when you're not used to having, um, you know, knowing what company makes what. And it's, I, I understand that it's always complicated a little bit for that. But you know what? If you're not really sure, you should actually ask a friend of yours that knows it better. Um, you know, maybe ask one of the guys or girls that you know that's really good with computers. Oh, I want Flash Player. How do I get it? Now, it's not a, you know, it doesn't mean 100% they'll, they'll send you to the good side, but if it uh, actually can be, um, you know, it, it probably puts the chances a little more on your side. Make sure you download from the good and the real sources. You know what? I am fed up by the fact that we have to download stuff to complete our Windows installation. I really, really want something that would be really nice is a computer that is set with all the web standards, meaning that you don't need any extras to uh, watch a video or download a file of some sort. Uh, because every time you need to download something, there's always a risk. So you got to be careful for that. And so, uh, you know, these are tips and tricks that I'm actually giving you right now to prevent anything from being downloaded. That's not correct. So, um, you know, if you follow these general rules that I just gave you, uh, good protection, updates are made, not just for Windows, but for your software that you're using. They often have flaws that are going to be exploited by viruses. Make sure that if you download files, you download them from the right, the right site, not from a link on the internet, and, you know, try not to search for something you want to download. Try to understand who makes a piece of software. For example, one thing that you can try that I just had an idea now is, let's say you want to download Flash Player because it needed. You can say, who 
makes flash player and here it's gonna say the first link you see here is oh Adobe Flash Wikipedia this is telling you that it's already it's Adobe the second link flash player Adobe flash player overview and it's on the Adobe website you get an idea that flash player is made by Adobe and so you can go to adobe.com to download it um, instead of you know going anywhere because it's very complicated you know if I put Adobe reader let's see the links that it sends me this one's not too bad let's say that I want Java Java uh, here the first link is download Java free Java dash download dot download zone dot org this is not at all where you need to go to get Java but here java.com this is where you need to get Java so you know it's very complicated and very easy actually to um, get the wrong file so you got to be really careful and follow these tips as much as possible and you know try to download the least possible if you can and you know what for those of you that are uh, in need of flash remember one thing if you are going on the web with Google Chrome or with Internet Explorer 11 in Windows 8.1 Flash is already <coughs> integrated into the software. <coughs> so you don't need Flash with Internet Explorer 11 and you don't need Flash with Google Chrome. It is part of the piece of software. The only browser today that needs Flash would be uh, Safari and uh, Firefox. And so uh, these will need to have Flash installed. But apart from that, if you're using Explorer 11 or Google Chrome, you don't need Flash. It's, it's already part of the browser. So I hope these tips can help you and, you know, using your computer, making things a little easier to use. And, uh, you know, hope everything stays safe thanks to these little tips that I just gave you today. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, maybe you have... A question about the security of your PC why not ask away we'll try to answer any questions as possible and hopefully if you got a Windows 8 machine you'll take a look at our other videos we have online about Windows 8 lots of videos to help you using Windows thanks for watching